The object selection tool just got a huge update in Photoshop's beta. Now you can automatically select people and even individual parts like their eyebrows, their eyes, their hairs, and make adjustments from there. Today, we're gonna to show you how to use it. Go ahead over to your beta apps and then just do a search for Photoshop's beta. Make sure that's installed. This will be in the full version of Photoshop when the time is right, but for now, it's just in the beta. All right, let's go ahead and show you how to use the tool. Now, the object selection tool is right over here above your magic wand tool. Object selection tool, historically, it's been okay. Personally, I didn't really use it that often, but it just got a huge update. And now you can go right up here and select people. This is really cool. So let's go to select people and we're gonna see Basically, you just click on the person and you have the option to select the entire person, hair, eyebrows, eyes, pupil. You can even go down here and hit show more. Now, for those of us who are Lightroom users, we've actually seen this functionality in Lightroom for some time. So they're bringing it into Photoshop, which I think is fantastic. Now, let's go ahead and make a selection. I want to go ahead and click on our subject's hair. So we're just going to click on here. And by the way, you can click on a few of these. Like if you wanted to select, you know, all of these things at once, you can see it's gonna select everything that I click on. So we're just gonna click on hair and hit apply. There we go. Now, as you can see, it turns this into a selection. So we have a selection in Photoshop. What are we gonna do with this? Well, in this case, maybe I wanna add a little bit more vibrance to my subject's hair. So I can go to layer, I can go down to new adjustment layer and over to vibrance, okay? Vibrance, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna use the selection that we just made and automatically put it into the layer mask, this adjustment layer. So we're gonna hit okay here. You're gonna see I have a new vibrance layer and the hair is in the layer mask of the vibrance. This is so cool. So let's go to our vibrance layer and we can just choose our vibrance slider. We're just gonna crank that up and maybe we'll put a little bit more saturation in there as well. Just a little bit of exaggeration, but I like this color, like nice red, reddish, like brown color over here. I think it looks beautiful. Okay, the other th cool thing you can do here is we're gonna go back to our object selection tool. You don't actually have to go up here to select people and click on this person and choose what you want. You can actually just hover over your subject and see that you can actually select different parts of your subject. And we're gonna go right to our subject's pupils. Let's go ahead and click on there. We'll go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over to curves. There we go. And you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna make these a little bit brighter. We're just brightening up our subject's pupils. That looks really good. Now keep in mind, all this is doing is creating a layer mask, right? So we make a selection, then we're using that selection in a curves adjustment layer, makes a layer mask, okay? Now in this case, we can see it's pretty good, but it's selected a little bit of like her eyelid and I'm a perfectionist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my brush tool here, B for the brush tool, and I'm just gonna paint black on my layer mask, okay? So by painting black on the layer mask, we're just hiding this effect right here on the layer mask. So we got most of our selection, really good to start with the object selection tool. There we go. And now we're able to just fill that in and make some really nice changes very quickly. Now I know what you're thinking. Actually, I have no idea what you're thinking, but I'm guessing you might be thinking, cool, this works on one person. Does it work on multiple people? And the answer is yes. <laughs> you might not have been thinking that at all, uh, <laughs> but here we go. We've got multiple people. We're gonna go back to our object selection tool and up here we're gonna see it's thinking and we're gonna go to select people and then check this out. It's got all of the people here in this image. How cool is this? So we can select each of the people and then don't forget, you can just hover over it. Like I wanna select that guy's hat or maybe just his shirt. You've never been able to do this before in Photoshop. Honestly, this tool works way better than it ever has. Down to segmenting individual pieces of clothing. Like I wanna just select her sweater. So let's click on that. We're gonna to go to uh, layer, down to new adjustment layer and we'll try hue slash saturation. Pretty cool here. Now I have this hue slider. I can just click and drag this hue slider and change the color of her shirt or jumper, or sweater or hoodie, whatever this thing is. But all I have to do is literally click on it. So this is a huge advancement in the object selection tool. Honestly, it's better than ever. And I really find myself actually wanting to use this. So it may seem like a little update, but the fact that, I mean, you can select pieces of clothing now, you've never been able to do this select that piece of clothing. I could go to layer. I could go down to new adjustment layer. We'll go to maybe exposure. There we go. And maybe I'll just make her jacket a little bit darker. That's cool. She's got a black jacket on today, right? Or we want to bring it up and she's got like a light color jacket. 
this is a really big addition to Photoshop. So don't forget, it's in the beta. You can download it right now and get access to this tool. Let me know what you think in the comment today. down below. If you want to download these exact images so you can follow and practice along, just follow the link. You can download on flurn.com for free. This is a and really I'm gonna big ask you, addition. Give us a big Photoshop. thumbs up so don't if forget, you enjoyed this video. If you want to get more free tutorials, click on now subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll learn you later. Tool. Bye, everyone.